and what if and all that out and just speak what you want God to do in this season. And so I know what it's like. I've been around them and I've seen them. I've seen them get nervous and all that stuff. And Lord have mercy. I mean, you know, I've seen it. I've seen people that went from storefronts uh, to $5 million buildings. I've seen them go to, um, uh, 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 $10 million building. So I'm qualified to talk about this. And I happen to be on the scene. And the thing about it is I never put a limit on Yehovah. You know, never put a limit on Yehovah. And that's what God is saying tonight. So it's imperative that we get a hold of this message. It's going to be very quick. I only got a few, few scriptures, you know, but it's important that we that we know that there's no limit. And it could be something simple, like an example was, now I'm going to be kind of like open because I like to be transparent. And guess what? Anybody don't like it, all you got to do is click off. That's the beauty about this thing is I don't have to listen to you and you don't have to listen to me. Isn't that wonderful? But, you know, what happens is, so I got, um, my father is, is, is in hospice, my father. And I tell you, you guys couldn't know how much I love my father. I love my father. I mean, listen, I mean, I just love him. I mean, it's just, and sometimes, you know, even with both of my parents, they made decisions. And I thank God because they came to me before they made these decisions. And I told them, I told both of them not to do what they're doing. And my father, I tell you, you know, I mean, he, he's a, he was, he was, he was the reverend's reverend, you know? I mean, just, just a, just a man that just displays love unconditionally. I'm telling you, you couldn't meet a nicer guy <laughs> that just, I mean, I don't think he knew anything else but love or he doesn't know anything else. He's still with us, but love. And so, you know, um, I had intended on him coming up here and, um, that didn't happen yet, you know, um, and I'm, I say yet confidently, and he just turned 80 um, on last last Sunday, on the 17th, he turned 80, and I mean, I love my dad, you know, and then there's this other side of me that is, um, it's like a protector or a fixer, you know, I mean, I've always been that, that guy, you know, that, that kind of guy, I've got to look like that guy, I got the actions like that guy. I got the speed like that guy. And I got the movement like that guy. And I'm not just talking. I'm just telling you about that guy. So today, you know, I was um, I was out and about doing what I was doing. And I get this picture from my brother who was one of these. Uh, he's one of these, uh, you know, pastors and you know, and, uh, you know, he makes sure that, you know, he's a pastor and he sits on the roster and all that. Now, I'm not throwing my brother on the bus, but I'm just telling you this. These are the things that can happen when you take the limits off. Just speak it. And so my brother sent me this disturbing picture. I mean, it was so disturbing. It took it took forever to get it out. And I knew the enemy was trying to alter me from speaking to you tonight about taking the limits off. Just speak it. And so I went to the store and I got me some bottles of water and I got me some oil and I came home and I, I put my feet up in the lounge and well, in the living room or whatever. And I just sat back and just like kicked back for a minute like I was cooling out, you know, the ceiling fan, the air was on. I was trying to create this atmosphere like I'm not listening to this. And the enemy was trying to get me to... Um, be the fixer or the protector. But God said to me, he says, son, I want you to just speak what you want me to do. See, that's what God wants each and every one of you under the sound of my voice to do. You can speak to an atmosphere or a situation and be more effective than putting your hands on it. Oftentimes we want to put our hands on things. We got to put our hands in things. You know, we want to physically uh, make an adjustment, you know, physically. But the day the Lord is saying, if you just speak, 
speak it. If you don't take the take the limits off, if you just open up your mouth and just speak it, watch and see what I'm going to do. I'm talking to somebody out there that doesn't know uh, how they're going to uh, how this situation moves to another place or or what am I missing? That person, that person, I'm doing everything I know how to do, but what am I missing? Well, uh, you just need to take the limit off. Oh, Shabbat. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes some people. People may say to me, well, what do you mean, Zari? Well, okay. I'm telling somebody, I say, you know, I want to I want to get me a really nice boat this year. I want to get a new boat. I want a nice boat. And you know what an average person be like, you know, he may say, well, I got a boat for sale. It's $9,000. Well, that's not the kind of boat I was talking about. The boat I may be talking about may be $1.5 million. It don't mean anything. They both boats. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not bragging or boasting, but I'm saying I don't put no limit to Yehovah. Huh? I don't put no limit to what Yehovah will do in this space because it's not like we have a whole lot of time i mean every day listen now for the last at least a month or, or more all we've been hearing is tragedies after tragedies huh i mean from shootings and mass killings all over listen the thief comes to kill still and destroy the devil does have power to what to kill still and destroy but i have power huh god has what all power he's given he, his son has all power so listen we're not powerless in this thing but we have to learn how to just speak it we have to learn how to just speak it and believe it when we speak it now you can't speak it without believing it and so you got to move in this shift in this transition remember now a year and a half ago we're going in almost two years where we got the revelation i'm in a space called god or yehovah Mm -hmm. so you got to understand it and i'm having a god experience so I'm on the road. I get this picture of an open bed sore of my father. I, you know, I could react in the natural, but I recognize that I'm in a space called God. So immediately there's a hedge and a wall and there's an anointing that protects me. Uh, my mind, body, soul, and spirit. And then uh, because I'm in a space called God, well, what is this? This is just a loved one that's close to me. And this happens to be a God experience. Oh, Shabbat. Why? Because in this, I'm going to experience expose myself to you son why because you're staying in the in the realm and in position of the space called god where you can and you understand that whatever you're dealing with is a god experience and now because you stand in position i'm going to expose myself to you and i'm gonna bring deliverance you understand what i'm saying and so that's why every level there's another devil uh-huh but see he can't catch you when you're dealing not level is a plane surface but when you start talking about realms oh Shabbat, there's a difference between a level and a realm you know and so we just move up in the realms from glory to glory and that's what i'm talking about today i'm talking about taking the limits off just speak it in psalms 147 and 5 great is our lord and mighty in power his understanding has no limits oh shabbat and that's why we want to be merged into yehovah uh, because his understanding there's nothing that he can't handle and turn it around he knows all because he created all and it's all for his pleasure so there's nothing that can go wrong as long as we stay with what as long as we stay with yehovah we got to it is important that we grab a hold of this and that you that you begin to practice this not just tonight but um every night you know uh, i was encouraged i don't see this uh young uh, lady too much anymore but there was a person that crossed my path and i mean special and you know i'll never forget how you know i think when i when i first 
um, um, last year this time, or maybe it was a little bit earlier, she was a couple times. I think it was maybe twice, if not, I know it was once for sure that she was she was hospitalized. Uh huh. I wasn't asked to come to the hospital and pray for the child, but I prayed for the child. You understand what I'm saying? And the child wanted to make sure I knew, and and I prayed for. Her. And and you know, as the as the young lady became closer to me, it was imperative to me. I mean, it was like. I don't know if you ever wanted something and you just got determined and you weren't going to take no for an answer. That's what it was with me wanting to see this young lady heal. I just wanted to see heal. And I mean, I went back and forth with God and I didn't understand until afterwards why there was so much back and forth with God. You know, sometimes we want things for people that in some cases they may not be ready for, or they may not even want it, or they may not be in position to receive it. You understand what I'm saying? But Jehovah still does it, you know, and you, you, you just battle with that thing. And I tell you, you know, and so when, because I had no limits on Jehovah. And, you know, and being bold enough to talk about, I don't want to, I don't, I don't believe healing comes from prescription drugs, huh? But I believe healing comes from the spoken word. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that Yehovah didn't put these um, doctors on here to assist in, in different things that may go on in, in, in the body. No, I'm not saying that, but I, as a man of God, I like to practice my, my, uh, my gifts. Now his talent is whether he's a surgeon or whether he's a, uh, he or she is a pediatrician, a gynecologist and on and on and on chiropractor. You, you, and some of you may say uh, plastic surgeons, you know, you're out there. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is you go to these, these different physicians and based on their skills, mine is no limits, faith healing. I believe that I can speak the word of God as long as I'm in position with God, with the kingdom of God. And oneness takes place. I believe that healing can take place instantly. I believe if I, if, if, if I speak the command I believe that the command will carry power and and because of the command it's an action word and I believe after the command the action is done and it's completed because the command is carried out by the Holy Spirit that's what I believe in Zechariah chapter 2 starting in verse 5 I looked up and I saw a man with a measuring line in his hand and I asked, where are you going? And he said to me, to measure Jerusalem, to determine its width and, and length. Here the angel who was speaking to me went forward. And another angel went out, met him and said to him, run and tell this young man, Jerusalem will be inhabited without walls. Because there will be so many people and animals for, says Adonai, I will be for her a wall of fire surrounding her and I will be the glory within her. And that's what's happening. See, when we take no limits. And we emerge ourselves into this space called God. You know, we it, wouldn't it be wonderful to understand that uh, uh, I, son Zari, I just want you to know that, okay, yeah, they brought that attack and they brought this attack and the other attack. But I am as, uh, I am as a wall of fire surrounding you and, 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 and 
I will be the glory within you, Ushapa. I'm the wall that surrounds you, a fire where they can't penetrate, Ushapa. Uh, no, they can't come through, you know. It holds them back, Ushapa. I will be that wall of fire around you when they talk about you. I'll be that wall of fire around you when they put you down, Ushapa. I'll be that wall of fire when they come to attack you and try to destroy your character. I'm the global sender. I'm going to be that wall of fire when they try to destroy the work within a work. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be that wall of fire. And not only that, I'm going to place myself because I'm going to be the glory within the walls. Yes, yeah, see, so now the outer courts uh, shows the uh, the wall of fire. But in the inner courts, uh, what comes off of the fire is just knowing the inner courts, O Shabbat, I'm going to be the glory that surrounds you, O Shabbat, my, my, your inner beings is going to be filled with my glory, see, that's the significance of